You're looking at a pair of shoes that never saw a factory. Only a spool of TPU and my 3D printer. Could you wear them every day? Let's find out. Hey, welcome to 3D Fish. I test printable models and push the limits of personal manufacturing. Today, we're reviewing Bubbleberry, a popular shoe design from Cloudberry, the creator of Whaleberry. If you want my thoughts on Whaleberry, there's a video linked above. Sleek, comfortable, and a perfect fit, Bubbleberry has completely changed my view of printed footwear. Whaleberry may look flashier, but Bubbleberry is the most comfortable and truly everyday ready design I've tried. If you're wondering whether it deserves a place on your feet, stick around. Bubbleberry has a round toe, lace-free slip-on shape that pairs with everyday outfits and needs no extra hardware. You can choose a patterned sidewall or a plain minimalist version. Inside, the designer used four infill zones, 45% cross zag in the outsole for grip and rebound, 25% cross zag in the midsole and inner lining for structure, and 12% zigzag soft infill on top for cushioning. The upper area is actually breathable, and I'll come back to that in a moment. Changing the global infill in Bamboo Studio can override these zones, so I recommend leaving the settings in the supplied 3MF file alone. Printing was straightforward. The Maker World project file slices cleanly. Just scale the model to your shoe size using the guide on the model page. I wear a US Men's 9, so I printed at 95.35%. The full job took about three days and two hours and used roughly 800 grams of filament. After two full days of walking in 75 degree weather, the shoes feel like light running trainers. I printed mine in TPU 85A instead of the recommended 90A, so they're slightly softer. Great for walking, though a bit too soft for serious running, as you would feel your feet hitting the ground. Despite the closed look, air moves through the upper, making Bubbleberry noticeably cooler than Whaleberry. I'll post a long-term update once I've logged more miles this summer. Early signs suggest the stronger outsole pattern should hold up well over time, so I have high hopes. Here's a quick summary. Pros. Ready to wear the moment you pop them off the plate. Noticeably breathable. Sleek and comfortable. Cons. Sizes above US 11 require a printer with a larger build volume. The print takes more than three days. And the outsole texture is shallow, so traction could be limited on slick surfaces. If you're planning to print your first pair of shoes, Bubbleberry is the design I'd choose over Whaleberry. Have questions? Planning to print a pair yourself? Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next print.